What's up guys, back again with another video. So today we're going to take a look at NVIDIA surround support for XCOM 2 by Fireaxis. Now XCOM 2 was released on February the 5th 2016 by 2K Games. The developer Fireaxis was responsible for the original XCOM reboot. This is a fantastic game and for those people who remember the original XCOM or UFO games as they were called in Europe would be very pleased with this game. It also has the pleasure of being a PC exclusive that you can't find on any other console currently. Now of course that may change. It's an outstanding tactical game that builds on the original XCOM reboot that was released in 2012. Now the Nvidia surround support for this game is quite frankly a bit sketchy. While the game detected my 5760 by 1080 resolution, I had some issues with my field of view and inventory and menu screens being way too zoomed in. Now I had to do a few any file hacks which I'll leave a link in the description below on how to resolve. Now this did leave me with a perfect triple screen experience. Now onto the performance of this game in this screen mode. I'm running this game on my standard gaming PC which is a Core i7 4790K. I've overclocked the CPU to 4.4 GHz and I'm running two GTX 970s in SLI and I have 16GB of G-Skill DDR3 RAM. My screen settings are set to custom and as you can see I've disabled the draw distance and turned down AO and shadow quality slightly. This is enough for the game to run at 60 FPS or higher at this resolution. Now when both GPUs are maxing out at 99% this game runs really really well, easily going past 60 FPS. SLI support in this regard is pretty good. The problem is however there are frame rate issues with this game. During gameplay it will drop to the 30s, there doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason for it. One thing I do notice is when the frame rates drop the GPU load drops from 99% to about 50 or 60 and then when that happens the CPU load increases. I can only assume the game is shifting processing from the GPU to the CPU. So let me know what you guys think about XCOM 2 and the benchmarks, I'd be very interested to hear what other people are experiencing with this particular game. As for me, as mentioned, it's kind of all over the place, but hopefully there'll be a patch to address it shortly. The other thing I should mention, folks, is that this particular video has been rendered in 4K. I've got a new digital camera, a Panasonic Lumix G7, which seems to be the new camera to get for all the YouTubers out there, and I was fortunate enough to pick one up a couple of weeks ago. So there should be a lot more clarity as far as the triple screen videos are concerned. Sometimes it's quite difficult to actually capture all three screens on one particular video. So hopefully the 4K resolution will certainly help with the quality and the clarity of the particular video image as well. Now my older camera was the Canon SX50 PowerShot and that's actually being used for the B-roll as you can see. So this particular setup is something I'll be using going forward with all my triple screen videos. So look out for my next video on this which will be Far Cry Primal. Hopefully the triple screen and SLI support for Far Cry Primal is as good as Far Cry 3 and Far Cry 4 which ran really well on those configurations. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave it here for now. Let me know what you guys think about XCOM 2 and the performance you're getting. As always, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe if you like my channel and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye for now.